let us all stand. Who gives this woman to this man to be married today? My wife, her mother, and I. Good evening, everyone. We are gathered here this evening in the presence of God family, friends, and loved ones to witness and celebrate the marriage of Chase Ward and Corinne Parrish. Normally, this is the time in the ceremony where the preacher asks if anybody opposes the marriage, but I've already been informed of three protests, not to the living itself, but that three invites were not sent out. Luke, Leo, Leo, and Lila chasing Chase Corinne's three dogs back at home. home. I did I'm explain to them that while they were upset that, that you two needed them at home in order to guard the house and to bark at any sign of trouble. trouble. On behalf of Chase and Corinne, I would like to thank each of you for being here this evening. Because you have all supported and cared for them their entire lives, it is only fitting that you are the ones to share with them in their special day. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the infinite blessings that you have bestowed upon us today, granting us the opportunity to be here this evening. We ask for your blessing upon Chasing Corinne as they celebrate this momentous occasion. Grant them happiness as they establish their new family and explore the depths of their love for one another and for you. Be with their families and friends and the relationships which have supported, strengthened, and sustained them throughout their lives. God, bless those who are no longer with us as they are surrounded by your abundant grace. Even though they are not here physically, they are a part of the foundation that makes Chase and Corinne the people that they are today. Look over us as we cherish the memories of these friends and families who are no longer with us but in our hearts, especially Chase's grandpa Daniel. Bless this celebration and be with them today as two become one, and be with all of us who came to be a part of this celebration as we rejoice in this glorious day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I've had the fortune of knowing both Chase and Corinne for a very long time now. 
I first met Corinne when she was 11 years old at Malabar at a swim clinic that I was coaching. I first met Chase nine years ago during his freshman year of high school. I've had the honor of getting to both to coach both Chase and Corinne in high school swimming. That's how they met. My wife at the time, my wife, still my wife, <laughs> I, I think, uh, was one of our assistant coaches and she always liked to point out who would make a cute couple on the team? Who would be great together? And one particular night I remember she's talking about it and I kind of wanted to get on with the lineup for the next meet and every suggestion that she threw out I kind of just moved on until she got to, you know who would make a really cute couple would be Chase and Corinne. And then I stopped talking and said, oh, you know what? You're awfully right. A little while later, Corinne was having a conversation with my wife and said, you know who would be really cute if he didn't have a girlfriend? Chase. <laughs> About a month or so before the world shut down in 2020, Chase and Corinne and I took a road trip down to Tennessee where Chase and I were going to run a half a marathon together. Because he ended up getting hurt, he wasn't able to run, but the three of us made the trip anyway. While on that trip, one thing that I will remember is the way Chase and Corinne talked to each other, the way they looked at each other, and the way they connected with one another. While they had been together several years at that point, I knew I was surrounded by two people who loved each other very much. In fact, I don't know if I actually said it to my wife when we got back, but I remember thinking of it, these two will be married one day. Chase and Corinne, I am very honored to be able to be a part of this special day today with you. May I have the rings, please? The ring is a symbol of the unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has no beginning and no end. May these rings always remind you of the vows you have taken to one another. Chase, as you place this ring on Corinne's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I be wed. Corinne, as you place this ring on Chase's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I be wed. I be wed. Chase, do you take Corinne to be your wedded wife, your best friend, and your only love? To have and to hold from this day forward, to work by her side and dream in her arms, to fill her heart to always seek out the best in her, always loving her with all of your heart for as long as you both shall live. I do. Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, <coughs> forsaking all others and keeping yourself only for her? I do. Corinne, do you take Chase to be your wedded husband, your best friend, and your only love, to have and to hold from this day forward to work by his side and dream in his arms, to fill his heart, to always seek out the best in him, always loving him with all of your heart for as long as you both shall live. I do. Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others and keeping yourself only for him? I do. By the power vested in me through Universal Life Church Ministries and by the authority of the state of Ohio, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Chase, you may kiss the bride. Can you face your family and friends? Ladies and gentlemen, please get out the bubbles that are at your seats. Because I now present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Chase and Corinne Ward.
Some Missy has the feeling to be old. Some Missy has the feeling to be old. Oh, no, it's not a birthday. Oh, no, it's not a birthday. It's a wedding. 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 still makes me cry. It still makes me cry. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good.